Hey everybody, welcome back to some more iconic moments. That is right, we've finally got some more. Um, not the complete set yet, but I'm close enough getting to getting the complete collection lineup of iconic moments because the ones in the UK are from 1 to 89. I believe the US have other different releases than us, so it's very confusing between the two, but hopefully I can get all the UK ones when HMV get them into stock. But this one is number 66, and it's Apollo 13, and this one... I was surprised to see it in my HMV because every single time I tried to find it, I couldn't even find it. And when I did, it was in so bad condition, I thought there's no point in even wasting my money because I'll just be rebuying it later on. And eventually, my prayers were answered, and you know, I found it in immaculate condition. So let's check it out. So this is the front, and it's basically the spaceman's helmet on the front, which I love how they did that. Tom Hanks is on, definitely name has to be on there. It was a 2 for 10 deal, but a 5 for 99. Which I have found out, not every iconic moment is now part of the 2 for 10 deal. That might be because of inflation, who knows, but if you see 2 for 10 deals, they're basically old, expired promos, so if they got the sticker, then you're going to get it for the 2 for 10. But lately I've been seeing a lot of these deals being changed, and they're mostly staying to the 5 for 99 bit. Houston, we have a problem, which is quotation mark there. The really nice design on the step cup. I love this very much. Nice colour scheme, especially the nice print on the um, logo as well, right there, which my autofocus is always messing up at the moment, which is really annoying, which I might just turn off so it's automatic. I was having it on manual, but never mind. So now we've got the back, which is just going to zoom in, and we have the bar description. If you guys want to pause and read, feel free to do so. There's also some bonus features, which features the commentaries of Ron Howard and Jim Lovin. And then we have some images displayed all ablow, which is very nice because it actually shows some of the main characters that we see frequently on screen. Nothing that spoils the movie, so you can still get a nice atmosphere without having to know that your film's ruined before you even watched it. Now, as we already tell in previous ones, we know that the slipcover is the only reason you're buying these, because the DVD is the standard one, and they always try and use the most recent one. So, for some of these iconic moments, they always try and choose the anniversary one if it's available, and Apollo is the... Is the um, rare exception where they actually chose the 25th anniversary one which still you get the nice bonus features but I think if you get on blu-ray you get more which is the sad part but then on the back here we basically have the technically the same images and just, just, just a different layout get straight into this one by breaking this down there we go and now moment of truth and there we have some artwork. And I like how it's just really focused on the whole space, you know, elements. So there's no people involved. It's just basically from a bird's eye view perspective from space and what they would take. Normally people say, oh, that's not how it would normally look. I don't really care. I still think it looks very nice <laughs> on the actual zip cover. Some people might think, oh, is he on the moon? Or is that the moon? Watch the movie and you you have your figure out but I love how they have all these stuff around here I like how they still do that on discs now it's ridiculous no one really looks at these but you know you gotta have them there's no recycling logo so that's a good up because normally most of these like old movies will have recycling logos on them but actually this is probably my most favorite cover out of the entire iconic moment list at the moment now I just feel like when I look through all of them and I'm scanning them, I'm just seeing some unique displays. Some of them are stupid because the main DVD cover looks better than the slipcover one. But I feel like Apollo 13 have nailed it as making it just one of those, like, you know, spontaneous standout moments where you just look at the cover like, wow, I'm blown away. They've even some reflection scenes as well they kept in the helmet. Sometimes they don't add that when it's on the slipcover, but they actually added detail like that which is astonishing because that actually makes it look really more impressive, especially the detail on the helmet as well. It's not clean like most of the other ones are, that actually looks rigid, so that's really quite nice. So yeah, really rate this one. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the film, and if you did enjoy this unboxing video, then please let me know by leaving a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications and all that, and I'll see you next awesome unboxing video. But until then, take care.